Hi guys, Ayana here. Welcome back to my channel. Long time no see, right? I hope all of you guys are staying safe during the quarantine because even though certain states are opening up, we still have a whole pandemic going on. People, come on. Just, you know, keep being safe and um, social distance. We're having a surge in outbreaks again because states are opening back up so i hope that you guys are all staying safe even though we have this whole pandemic and the shutdowns going on for a lot of us cancer patients you know stuff still isn't changing we're still going to appointments getting treatments scans all of that good stuff so i had my two-month appointment and my um, six month scans on April 29th to be exact. And if you guys go back a couple months, maybe more than that, you'll remember that I got switched to six month scan. Yeah, I had my scans and drum roll, I am three years cancer free. So my anniversary or like this birthday you know being cancer free doesn't really have a defined date because my scans have always happened in like the month of may so it just coincides with may so i don't really have an exact cancer anniversary i guess all i know is that it is the month of may um that makes it the next year so Literally, I remember when I did my first um, I'm Cancer Free video and you could tell I was just like in shock, kind of unresponsive and I remember just having like five different emotions, you know, when I was given the news because I was just felt so freshly diagnosed and unable to really process necessarily what had all happened to me. So seeing that, I mean, hearing that kind of just set me into shock and awe. And I didn't know how to process that for a really long time. I would say it took me like another good year to process those feelings. Um, and even then it was still hard. and. Though I can cope now with knowing that I'm cancer free and accepting that and living in that because it is an amazing feeling, you know, I still have moments of weakness. Of course, I'm human and um, those are all things that I kind of work to um, process with my therapist. Uh, that's what she's there for. Also keeping in touch with all the cancer communities that I have. They're also really awesome and I actually talk to them every Thursday. My cancer communities have been a really big part of me processing the whole world of cancer and they've honestly made it a lot easier to process than family has because they have that understanding and there's nothing wrong with that. I just think that, that that community is just super important, especially as a young person, or maybe anybody, but yeah, especially young people, okay, in this instance, because we're just going through such a trying time in our lives, and just things are changing, and you're seeing just all kinds of things around you, and that just has a whole big influence on, you know, how we, you're processing your journey, and, um, I'm just really thankful that I have this. I still can't believe I am where I am today. My life was so different four or five years ago. I was in, five years ago, I was in an awful toxic relationship. You know, I wasn't living at home. I didn't, I wasn't working at the time. I was just like, going with the flow of life and just doing me. But then I got diagnosed like six months right after I ended that awful relationship and moved back home. And, you know, I can honestly say that things <clears throat> were really
really rough, but have honestly changed for the better because I've met so many awesome people and I've also gotten rid of so many terrible people. So it's also been a blessing in disguise. I've seen so many places and gone so many places I didn't think I'd gone to and I still have so much more to do and I'm just thankful for the whole journey, honestly. I don't know what the future holds for me. I don't know how much longer I'm going to stay cancer free because the odds are pretty much against me. I don't really have any high expectations because me even being here at three years cancer free is just amazing. Thank you guys for watching this and stay safe out there and I'll see you in my next video.